Software Spring Presence How to use PMT in Google Sheets Hi folks! Welcome to the tutorial on the PMT function. Here's an introduction to the PMT function. PMT stands for payment. The PMT function calculates the monthly or yearly payment on a loan. Okay, let's look at the format of the PMT function. Here's an example. Rate is the yearly interest rate. Number of periods is the number of months or years for loan repayment. Present value is the loan amount. Future value is optional and is the future value after the last payment. End or beginning is optional. If end or beginning equals zero, it means the payment will be made at the end of the month or year. If it is equal to one, it means the payment will be made at the beginning of the month or year. All right, here is an objective to use the PMT function. To get the monthly payment and total interest on. A loan amount of rupees 10,000. Interest rate 14%. And payment period of 24 months. First, I will type the loan amount in this cell. The interest rate has to be input as a percent. So, in this cell, first I will type 0 0.14. Now, let's format this as a percent. Click this cell. Click this down arrow. Click percent. In this cell, type 24, which is the number of months for loan repayment. Type the PMT formula in this cell. First, type equal to P M. Select PMT from the menu. For the interest rate, click this cell. Because the interest rate is the yearly interest rate, it has to be converted into a monthly interest rate. So, let's divide this by 12. Type comma. For loan repayment period, click this cell. Type comma. For the loan amount, click this cell. Press enter. There you go. The PMT function has returned the monthly payment amount. The minus sign indicates that you owe this much money to the lender, every month, for 24 months. The dollar symbol is the default currency symbol. If you do not want the minus sign, first, click this cell. Type a minus symbol here. Press enter. OK, the minus symbol is gone. To remove the dollar symbol, click this cell again. Click this down arrow. Click Financial. Moving forward, say you wanted to find out the total interest payment on this loan. I will type the formula, monthly payment multiplied by number of periods, minus the loan amount, in this cell. Press enter. OK, this will be the total interest payment on this loan. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.